Hi, I'm Brian with Truth and Privacy Talks. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'll explain the Verus ecosystem and why you should explore this powerful project. Remember when Nokia was the number one smartphone company and Apple introduced their touchscreen iPhone? Well, Apple quickly took the lead because their disruptive technology was more effective. Verus will similarly disrupt distributed finance. Verus's DeFi functions are built into the blockchain and run in parallel. A couple of years ago, a friend and fellow cryptocurrency miner excitedly told me about a young blockchain project called Verus. I found the advanced and integrated functions fascinating, so I invited him to present to a local cryptocurrency meeting group. As he explained individual functions to these crypto-savvy tech folks, people would repeatedly say that other coins had that same function. Eventually, they understood how these functions were integrated into a powerful, efficient, and scalable ecosystem. Then they asked, will Verus be as revolutionary as Bitcoin? And how can Verus's tools help build decentralized finance, or DeFi apps? Before explaining Verus, let's review where cryptocurrencies started and where they are now. Bitcoin is the first decentralized money. If you're new to Bitcoin, the video in the link below should help. Before Bitcoin launched in 2009, the only way to use money digitally was with government fiat currency and an intermediary like a bank, money transmitter, or some other company. Bitcoin flipped that paradigm by allowing people to transact with each other directly without any middleman or government. Each Bitcoin transaction is validated and confirmed on the entire Bitcoin network. There's no single point of failure, so it can't be shut down or controlled. There is no centralized entity. And the only way Bitcoin code can be changed is when the people who own the node and mining computers agree to accept a change. Now we've seen how money can succeed without centralized control. Have you considered other functions of society that could improve from decentralization? Voting is needed as central authority to count and validate votes. Passport offices require verification of identity. Property deeds require personal, real estate, and loan identity and verification. Social media like Facebook, YouBoob, and Twister control your data. Blockchain technology is a more powerful component of Bitcoin than Bitcoin itself. Blockchain was created by fusing existing technologies like cryptography, proof of work, and a decentralized architecture to create a distributed system that can be trusted to reach decisions without any so-called authority. Once Bitcoin became understood, people started using blockchain technology to do much more. Blockchain is to Bitcoin what the internet is to email, a foundation on which applications can be built. This new technology has people all over the world creating new capabilities. A decentralized system requires a network of computers to maintain the blockchain, which is a triple entry accounting ledger, the usual debit and credit, and the verification. The first blockchain was Bitcoin, which uses a Turing incomplete language, which is a small set of instructions like who sent how much money to whom. Ethereum, also called ETH, was the second major blockchain and still is the second largest by market cap. ETH has its own network of computers and programming language, which runs as a sequential computer. To program ETH, users write smart contracts for network nodes to run and maintain the blockchain. ETH's model allows anyone to run their code after paying a fee. However, smart contracts execute code precisely, so every contingency must be anticipated and coded to ensure they run securely without being hacked. ETH uses a Turing complete model, meaning that any code can be run on its blockchain. Programs can be simple transactions for ledgers and wallets or complex DeFi apps for loans, investment pools, and other contracts. With all this flexibility, what are the risks? Well, the ETH ecosystem is expensive. It may cost many dollars to perform simple transactions that excessively penalize lower value ones. ETH is struggling to scale from its growth. For example, at one point in time, a simple game accounted for 40% of ETH's network traffic. DeFi projects can be hacked by smart contracts that weren't thoroughly audited, which has resulted in multiple cases of losses in the tens of millions of dollars. Since the Turing Complete language has so many performance and security issues, what else can be done? 
Well, Varus is creating a dramatic paradigm shift with Turing incomplete coding using a UTXO model like Bitcoin and a set of tools for building apps. The Varus blockchain ecosystem has a built-in payment system at the protocol level, a DeFi builder's tool set, identities for self-sovereignty, ability to scale massively, privacy, data exchange and interoperability. With DeFi congestion and hacks increasing, Varus's DeFi alternative is becoming important. Let's look at a few examples of how Varus's ecosystem is designed to be more fair and scalable. Varus's payment system has a fixed 0.025% fee. Transaction messages and data transmissions can be private. You will be able to execute a simple call to launch and run fractional reserve currencies. You'll be able to quickly create, launch, and run DeFi contracts and other apps. Many features are built into Verus's protocol level that will make Verus become an internet of blockchains. Let's dive a little deeper into comparing Verus with existing ecosystems. To create a new token or smart app in Ethereum, you have to write Solidity language code. If you want interoperability between your tokens and other networks, more Solidity code is needed. Smart contracts need a method of price discovery for other tokens, so you may need Oracle code to facilitate token conversion. At each step of building your DeFi app, new code must be created, tested, and integrated, thereby increasing complexity and risk of congestion and theft. Once your code is done, you start it so users can interact with your system exchanging tokens for others. The system's design requires each transaction to be formed serially. This means that when large orders execute, the token's price is instantly affected. Also, ETH miners may choose to run the code in any order. That allows opportunity to manipulate the market. With Verus, not a single line of code needs to be written to achieve the previously described system because the modules are part of the blockchain. This greatly reduces complexity, security, congestion, and cost. What about fairness of currency conversions? Verus doesn't depend on gathering rates from exchanges. Verus's parallel processing algorithms calculate prices from blockchain records. This will provide the most efficient and fair conversions. I hope this gives you a good feel for Verus's capabilities and exciting DeFi opportunities. Stay tuned for more videos and other features, and be sure to check out Verus.io for other explainer videos. If you have questions, please post them below. Thanks for watching, and check back in for answers to your questions and more information about this wonderfully disruptive DeFi technology called Verus. Take care.